The Brooks Lions and the Westminster Christian Wildcats are both having one of their best seasons in school history. The Lions, sitting at 8 and 4, have a chance to advance to the state semifinals for the first time since 2007. You know, we've uh, we've come a long way. Uh, a lot of kids have grown up and uh, you know, just to, to be able to have the chance and opportunity to continue to go forth, I think that's been good for our guys and our program. For Westminster Christian, this is just the second time in school history they will play in the state quarterfinals. And Wildcats head coach Lewis LeBronc's message to his team is don't take this for granted. I keep trying to remind them, I love the success. Don't forget where you came from and what got you to this point. And it's going to have to be that same thing that keeps us going. There's no magical shift that happens once you win 10 games and are playing in Thanksgiving. Uh, we have to remember what got us here. But now Westminster must turn their attention on Brooks, who have been the surprise of 4A, knocking off Aniana in round one in Priceville last week. They're explosive. Um, Coach Bowens does a phenomenal job with them. The quarterback is... Uh, is not just a game manager, but he can take over a game. Um, running back is, is huge and fast. Um, great receivers flying all over the place. They love to spread the ball out. Put a, looks like they put a lot of responsibility on that QB to make decisions, and uh, he does a great job. Brooks is not the only high-flying team in Class 4A, though. Westminster offense is a tough one to stop as well. They've averaged 44.3 points a game this year, and slowing down the Wildcats' offense is Tim Bowen's top priority. Well, they're, they're very similar to us uh, in a lot of ways. A very athletic quarterback, uh, receivers that can catch the ball, uh, offensive line that block very well. I mean, you just look at it across the board. Very solid, and, and they are open, wide open, and uh, so we have to be uh, we have to be all uh, all hands on deck uh, from every from first level, second level to third level. We'll just have to see which team can outlast the other to advance to the 4A semifinals this Friday at Ed Reading Stadium in Killen at seven o'clock.